We're learning about the danger behind a countertop material found in millions of American homes. Engineered stone, also called quartz, is popular because it's beautiful and can be made in multiple colors and finishes. But many of the workers who make those counters are getting sick from a material called silica. It can get in their lungs, leaving them in need of a lung transplant and at risk of death. Consumer investigative correspondent Anna Warner has exclusive interviews with workers suffering from the deadly disease silicosis. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. You know, once installed, these products are not dangerous to you, the consumer. But if you're buying new countertops for your new home or a renovation project, you should know. Some workers are dying so you can have them. This wasn't what Dennis Williams expected at age 36, sitting home instead of working, waiting for a lung transplant to save his life. You live with the pain. It's an inexplicable pain. I have pain every day. The cause? Silicosis, a deadly lung disease his doctors say resulted from working in a shop like this one, cutting and shaping countertops made of engineered stone. Over the past decade, engineered stone countertops made from crushed quartz have taken over the U.S. market. They come in a range of colors and patterns, and manufacturers talk up the product's advantages. Resistant to cracks, stains, heat, and chemicals. But compared to natural stone, these slabs often contain much higher levels of crystalline silica, as much as 95 percent, a material that if inhaled can cause silicosis, which destroys the lungs. Workers who cut and shape those slabs, like these in videos we obtained, often work in a haze of silica dust, and many are now becoming sick. Every week or every two weeks, I hear about a new case here. Dr. Jane Fazio is a pulmonary critical care physician at a UCLA medical center north of Los Angeles. For instance, yesterday I had a patient, he'd had a cough he didn't really think anything of, and I basically told him that he was gonna need a lung transplant or he was gonna die in the next couple of years. This was the conversation you had with a man just yesterday. This is the conversation I have almost weekly. A study she led last year found in California, nearly a fifth of the workers who got silicosis on the job died. It almost sounds like an epidemic. It definitely is. It is. It's an epidemic. Often, it's immigrant Latino workers paying the price. Along with Williams now waiting for his transplant, there's 56-year-old Arturo Batista, a father of three who says he has to keep working despite being diagnosed with silicosis. I know it's doing me harm, but I have nowhere else to work. And 34-year-old Gustavo Reyes Gonzalez, who had to have a lung transplant last February. There's very little possibility that my life lasts long. The transplant is for a few years, nothing more. Did anyone ever tell any of you that you needed protection from the dust? No. 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 They're now suing their attorney, James Nevin. Many of these workers are in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, and they will be dead within a year if they don't get a lung transplant. The manufacturers knew all that. They knew exactly this is what was going to happen. The manufacturers declined to comment on the lawsuits. An industry group, the Silica Safety Coalition, said exposure to silica dust is preventable if fabrication shops comply with state and federal OSHA regulations and requirements. Another, the Engineered Stone Manufacturers Association, said licensing programs and enhanced regulatory oversight are the keys to protecting workers. But in December, Australia banned engineered stone, finding compliance in the industry was insufficient and the product poses an unacceptable risk to workers. So what's it like in fabrication shops here? On this short street in an industrial area north of Los Angeles, we walked past roughly a dozen independent fabrication businesses and watched as the dust flew. When you look in these shops, are you seeing the kind of protection that you would want to see mostly? No, no. On another street not far away, 33-year-old Joseph Mondragon invited us into the stone cutting shop his father started 40 years ago, as workers cut into slabs. The workers do try to keep the dust down in here, but literally, it's everywhere. Mondragon says he's been around the shop since he was 15 but is just now getting warnings about the dangers of engineered stone cutting. It's scary just to know that we're out here making a living and we could get sick over some dust that we didn't really have no, no um, knowledge of. Just two weeks ago, Dennis Williams finally got a double lung transplant. 
Doctors say if he's lucky, it may let him live to his mid-40s. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. This doesn't need to be happening, right? This is a completely preventable disease, and it's killing people that all they want to do is go to work and provide for their families every day. You have the right to go to work and have your work not kill you, right? Yes. Caesar Stone told us the health and safety of our employees, suppliers, and partners is of top priority. California has put temporary emergency regulations in place to try to protect workers. One of those manufacturers, Cosentino, says it now exclusively sells lower silica products of 10 and 40 percent. But Australian officials said in their reports it's not clear how protective those lower levels are for workers. Wow. So, so Anna, what should consumers know about when they buy these products? Well, so you can buy a lower silica product, natural stone, for example. Um, and you can look, you know, engineered stone has dozens of names. So if you're buying a product with a nice name, the likelihood is it probably has uh, a high degree of silica. You can opt for natural stone. But what the experts we spoke to said is that's not really a permanent solution. Is it a total solution? Because the workers in these shops are going to work on everything. If you buy natural stone, they're going to work on that. If you buy engineered stone, they're going to work on that. So it doesn't really solve the problem. That's why they're pushing for a ban in the U.S. just like Australia did. Very interesting. Someone in Congress should take a look at what's going on in Australia, see if it works. Anna, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.